Namaste guys. I have been using Android since Android 1.6 and uh, now I'm using Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. I have uh, I love Android uh, the way it has developed over the years. Uh, it has become faster, it has become smoother. It has become very beautiful, but there are little annoying things that I find in Android and uh, I think they should be changed to make this UI more consistent and more user friendly. So let's uh, let's get started with that. With Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, they have simplified the UI very much. Uh, for example, you can see the icons here. Uh, in the older versions, there used to be uh, menu and uh, this text, but within but from Ice Cream Sandwich, they have uh, uh, replaced them with icons. They look beautiful, but uh, uh, it takes a bit of uh, time to get used to to uh, to get what I mean. If you select these things. Uh, it shows a series of icons at the first sight uh, user is not sure what they actually do you know what I mean uh, for example these two icons look same and user uh, is not sure uh, what they actually do and it's a kind of trial and error method for the user to figure out what they actually do of course there's a menu interaction like if you touch and hold it shows uh, what the icon does uh, but a new user who is not uh, who is uh, who is new to Android uh, may not know about those uh, uh, touch and hold menu interaction and actually get to know what they what these icons actually mean. So what I want Google to do is um, uh, implement a much more better uh, solution for these icons. You know. Uh, I will suggest how Google can address that in my uh, in a couple of minutes. If this is okay, the same has been followed in some third-party apps. For example, if you uh, see this catch application, they have also implemented these icons instead of text, uh, but they have not uh, implemented this touch and hold uh, feature to show what those icons actually do. So for a new user, it becomes uh it, it, it's not actually tough for something it's just it, it just gets annoying and the learning curve may get steep before the user can actually get accustomed to this uh, ui so i would suggest uh, uh, to implement it in a better way and that we'll discuss in a couple of minutes one more thing with the android is that there is this touch and hold uh, menu interaction this uh, this menu interaction works on some objects uh, through the UI where you touch and hold on an object and it shows menu item uh, relating to that uh, let me go into some app as you can see here when I touch and hold here it shows a menu option when I touch and hold here it shows a menu option when I touch and hold here it's not showing me any option so this doesn't have that interaction but uh, I would like um, Android to inform users uh, some just show some visual uh, visual indication that there exists uh, touch uh, touch and hold touch touch and hold menu interaction on those items for example uh, show a, a icon of thumb uh, here or maybe a small dot like that just informing users that there exists a touch and hold menu interaction on those items with this uh, the same can be done with these icons as well show some thumb icon or a dot above these icons and just informing user uh, that there exists some touch and hold menu interaction with these objects so that the user actually touch and holds them and get to know what those icons really does so I want to address I want Google to address those two annoying things they are not that annoying but it might get annoying really annoying for new users uh, those are coming from other mo other mobile OS's to Android it might get annoying for them and my next uh, grouse is that uh, this widget screen uh, widget screen has changed in Android uh, ice cream sandwich it has become beautiful uh, 
earlier to ice cream sandwich there used to be a list of widgets and now they actually show a preview uh, I think this I think that this widget screen is really ugly uh, for example see this analog clock it's very own Google's uh, widget default widget it's a 2 by 2 clock uh, but it's it's half cut and it and it looks really ugly uh, you know what I mean guys uh, and look at this one look at this Google's uh, very own default books uh, widget it's a small one by one icon but it is taking up so much screen uh, so these end up looking very ugly guys what I would suggest is uh, a 2 by 2 widget should uh, actually consume this much space and it should show a preview how it would actually look on the home screen uh, this uh, for example big widgets can consume this much space and show the preview right here in the uh, widget screen before the user actually adds it to the home screen that's how they should be and uh, many of the third party apps they they don't make good use of it see for example the facebook facebook is a very uh, popular app and it has some millions of downloads and they have not taken care of it, it it's it's a 4 by 2 widget but they have just used a one by one icon and there is not even a preview of the widget how it would look it's it's very ugly guys and they should do uh, something about it <coughs> what i would suggest is to display widgets in a mosaic form like how they actually would look on the home screen that would be a better implementation and actually show uh, the touch to hold menu interaction that i was talking about show a little uh, thumb sign or a dot on these widgets so that uh, the user would actually touch them and yeah then add it to the home screen you may think guys that these are very small things and you need not worry about these things but these are the things that non techie users uh, need to know for example just today i uh, was talking to my friend who told me that, who asked me how to delete a widget from the home screen he was not sure about it because uh, he never knew that there exists a touch a touch to touch and hold menu interaction on those widgets so he was trying uh, he was trying to remove he was trying to do all these things but he couldn't remove the widget so then i thought yeah this is a big issue with non techy users we actually read the reviews look at the video reviews and learn all this uh, ui interaction but that's not the case with uh, non techy users and then my next suggestion would be to uh, to include some pc sync software uh, google please develop some pc software or mac software to sync uh, our android phones with you know you want to you know you say that google cloud is the next uh, next uh, big thing but there is a lot of time the cloud thing actually catches up there's a data uh, hindrances uh, associated with it so and i don't want to transfer my 7 or 8 gb of music via uh, cloud it, it takes so much time so please include some please try to develop some pc or mac syncing software like itunes to transfer my music please do it as soon as possible i am as of now as of now i am uh, using some third party transfer wi-fi transfer application there it does the job uh, but the, that is no google app so it doesn't work all the time so a, a very default google application for syncing your android phones with your pc or mac would be just awesome <coughs> and my and my next uh, uh, suggestion would be uh, to add voice at uh, voice uh, what do you say voice control from the lock screen itself uh, before sh uh, before explaining this i want to show my ipod touch 4 how it is implemented now let us see how this voice control thing is implemented in uh, ios this is my lock screen i just press here play music see 
it just starts playing with my voice control and uh, I don't know if this works with uh, Siri because Siri needs uh, data connection but uh, I would uh, suggest Android to implement a similar thing where you can do some basic uh, uh, basic voice control from the lock screen. It would be very helpful for uh, uh, you know if you dock your uh, tablet or phone in your car and uh, by voice control you can just switch on Wi-Fi from the lock screen itself or something like that. It, it would be very helpful. Uh, if uh, something like that is being implemented that's my suggestion uh, as you have seen guys um, there was no internet connection uh, available but still I was able to do some basic voice control from just the lock screen itself so I would also like uh, Google to implement something like that uh, by just uh, doing this thing and saying some switch on Wi-Fi or uh, play music, play album, blah blah blah, play album Linkin Park. If I say something like that, it should be able to do this. I don't want a complete uh, uh, Google Now thing from the lock screen itself, but just some basic voice controls from the lock screen would be very helpful as I've shown you. So these are the things I uh, uh, want in Android to be changed. Uh, guys if you have any suggestions or similar suggestions please uh, drop in comments and uh, who knows Google might actually see this video and implement them in the upcoming uh, Android versions and um, Android is only going to get better than the other lay mobile OSs out there so if you like my video like uh, if you dislike it please feel free to dislike it uh, comment or if you like my channel subscribe it see my other nexus 7 videos uh, which i have reviewed and uh, must have apps uh, for nexus 7 see you in my next video guys till then bye stews